Welcome back to Mini Bee Kitchen. Today we are here with you to explore our mini garden. And um, we have a lot of frenemies that come here and they're, and they're stealing all our vegetables and they're ruining our garden. So that's why we have all these security systems. Look, we have a fence and we have like these, um, these um, pieces of wood and then we just wrap the fence around the pieces of wood so that the um, our frenemies, um, the bunnies, the beavers, the other creatures that want some vegetables, they want to come inside here, right? But instead of getting in here, they're gonna get tangled in the fence. So that's why we have all these top security stuff Anyways, today we're going to be picking some out of our yellow zucchinis, and they're gigantic. They're, they're so gigantic. Like some of them are really long. Some of them are so chubby and fat. Now I'm in my teeny weeny, very very squishy garden that has a bunch of plants. And now that I'm thinking, we should have let the zucchinis grow like outside. We should have planted them outside. Because as you can see, because of the zucchinis, specifically, specifically because of the zucchinis, like the place is so squishy. But anyways, maybe we should, maybe we should think about that next year and make a smarter decision. But anyways, here are our beautiful yellow zucchinis. I'm really excited to pick it, but but I'm also a bit scared because these zucchini um like plants here like those um, green stems are very prickly anyways i'm gonna cut off that stem if i can reach it now we have su successfully cut the stem like finally and we're going to uh, pick up this zucchini it is so heavy look how huge it is it's very dirty so we're washing it and it's taller than my head. I really like the shade of yellow on this. And like it has a bit of green. And like it's really surprising that it's as long as my hand. Because like this is the longest and like probably um um longest like zucchini we've ever planted and like got. So this is very, very surprising. Now we have to make something good and delicious and important just kidding not important but yummy delicious and fantastic out of this zucchini so this is the second zucchini this has an even better color than this one because i think we let this one grow a bit too much but this is the exact like this is the perfect size and color and I wonder what the inside looks like too, but since the size and the color looks good, so maybe the inside's good too. Well, let's check out because today we're going to be making some zucchini boats out of these zucchinis. These zucchini babies are so cute! And I like this one the most. You're wondering what zucchini boats are. They're basically just stuffed zucchinis. And to make these beautiful and delicious zucchini boats, we're going to be using this little guy. Um, he is a bit smaller, but since his color is very nice, we're going to be using him. Now we are done cleaning the zucchini. And we, we scooped out all those um, seeds that was in the middle part of the zucchini because we didn't really need that because we're going to stuff the zucchini with um, other stuff. First step, as usual, is I'm going to be telling you the ingredients. One cup of some chopped cauliflower, one cup of chopped onions, one cup of chopped tomatoes, and one and a half cups of scraped mozzarella cheese. One cup of cooked quinoa seeds. One cup of cooked chickpeas. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Four garlic cloves chopped. Two tablespoons of marinara sauce. 
And this is what we're talking about by marinara sauce. And this is um, Victoria brand. And we got this one. It, uh, it's really, really tasty from Costco. Two green chilies chopped. And this, this ingredient is optional because we're just adding it because we really like um, spicy stuff, as you know. Half a teaspoon of black pepper teaspoon of salt and finally some olive oil. Let's start. Second step is we have a um, pan and we're going to be putting the olive oil. Now the oil is a little bit hot and we're going to be adding the onions. And next the chopped garlic as well. We're adding the green chilies. So we have added this, but we're not going to just leave it here until it becomes golden brown. We only want it to cook halfway. Next, we're adding the salt and the pepper. A mix. Next, we're going to be adding the tomatoes. We saved a little bit for the decoration part and we're only going to put the rest, so. Next, we're adding the cauliflower. So we're just going to leave this for a bit because the cauliflower needs to cook, but only a little bit. Okay, so now the cauliflowers have lightly cooked just like we wanted it to. And next we're going to be adding the chickpeas and the sauce all at once. And finally, the sauce. And we're adding the quinoa last because it's since it's very delicate, with, um, it doesn't need to cook for a long time. So we're going to put it last. adding about one more tablespoon of this sauce because we really like the marinara sauce especially this brand because it's very tasty and it's your choice if you want to add more like us it's it's really good choice now we're adding the cayenne pepper and we're adding this ingredient because we want the color to be really nice and even, even um, before adding the cayenne pepper, this looked very beautiful. But after adding the cayenne pepper, it looks much better. Now, as, as a final ingredient, we're adding the quinoa. Now I'm going to taste a bit of the mixture of ingredients that we have here so that um, we don't um, mess up after. So that um, in case if there's like any more salt or um, spiciness that we need to add, we can just add it right now. So, I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, it tastes so, so good. And it's a bit spicy because we really like spicy things. Now our beautiful and delicious stuffings for our zucchini boats are ready. Now I'm ready to stuff up these zucchinis. Pizza mozzarella cheese to sprinkle these zucchinis. This is the best part and my favorite part because I love pizza mozzarella cheese. And we have to sprinkle a lot on both zucchinis because we want it to be very cheesy. And when it's very cheesy, it tastes so good. As a final touch and for our beautiful stuffed zucchini boats to look pretty, we're going to be um, sprinkling over the cheese some of our saved tomatoes that we saved and 
we're going to just sprinkle those along with some chopped coriander leaves. Now we're covering up the stuffed zucchinis with some aluminum foil. Now we are ready to set sail on boat zucchini. Just kidding, I'm ready to shipwreck and break this boat zucchini by eating it. Now I'm going to taste it. Now I'm going to try it. Wow, look how cheesy that is. It looks so good. I want to try it. Mmm. It tastes really good. The marinara sauce made it have like a really, really tomatoey flavor. And the cheese is very cheesy and you should put a lot of cheese if you want it to be even more cheesier. And that's what we did today and I love it. It tastes so good and the inside filling is very, very yummy and it's also very healthy. So you should definitely try it. Look the inside. Chickpeas, the quinoa, looks so nice. Do you want to see some more cheesiness? Here you go. Wow. That was so cheesy. Now I'm going to try some of the filling by itself. Mmm. So good. This is a pure vegetarian recipe. It is very, very healthy, and it is also very, very yummy. So all of the vegetarians out there who are watching this video, I hope you like it, and please try this video. And not just, not just you vegetarians, everyone, everyone can try this recipe. It's very, very healthy and delicious, and it is also very easy to make. Like, we made it in a short amount of time, and since we use some zucchinis from our backyard, it's even more healthier and organic. Here are some benefits about zucchinis. Zucchinis reduce blood sugar and they're good for heart health. They contain a lot of antioxidants. They can even help you with your diet. They can improve vision and most importantly, they help you with your digestion. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos with friends and family. And we will have the recipe written in the description for you to try. And don't forget to check out our Instagram and Pinterest pages as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to try this recipe. Anyways, goodbye!